Hi friends, welcome to Simple Living Wise Thinking and in today's video I will share some food which I am gonna make with some leftovers. Now as we all have leftovers in our home and we often think what are the things we want to make like I have some idli, some chola which now no one's want to eat anymore, then some rice. Then I have some mixed curries and yeah I have some chicken also and sometimes this leftover gets so boring so I am gonna create new things with this leftover. So the first thing I am gonna make is with the rice. Now with rice you can make lemon rice or fried rice but today I am gonna make something different for that I need I some cabbage then some carrots I have chopped everything some red bell pepper you can take anything and some cheese and then I will add little bit of salt and I will give little bit of paper that is the black, black paper and this looks really yummy this recipe looks and I will give some garlic powder now if you don't have garlic powder you can just chop some garlic and give it in it it will give the same taste and then I will mix everything together with my hands and then this is some breadcrumbs which I have and this is the homemade breadcrumbs so I'll make the tikki from the rice and just coat it with the breadcrumbs so that it gives little bit of a crunchy feeling and this looks really tasty just make it at home I can bet on you your guest also one understand that this you have made from leftover rice and see you have to coat it on all the sides so it, it is covered very nicely and then just I have shallow fried it and yeah shallow fried from both of the side and almost my tikki is ready and you can serve it with some green chutney and my daughter she can't believe it that this is from leftover rice now this is some leftover idli and um, like most of us have made fried idli or masala idli with the leftover but today I'm gonna make an idli chart and pata nahi ye bohat achcha lagta hai just try kijiyega ghar pe so for that it's very simple in a frying pan I have given some mustard seeds to it and then I'll just fry the idli give little bit of salt and some red chili powder then my idli is done now I will take the curd and in this curd I have I gave little bit of sugar and little bit of salt because idli is a little bit of so I'll give the curd to it then this is the chutney which we have the tamarind chutney which goes in the chart if you want to know how I made this chutney just write in the comment section below and I will be happy to share with you all then I'm giving some tomatoes some cucumber some coriander leaves and now if you want you can add some sev or you can add some chaat masala but mere paas ghar pe kuch bhi nahi tha and this is how my idli chaat looks so this is a nice way to create something new with idli now i have some leftover chola and mixed vegetables so first i have like uh, I have washed off everything all the masalas in water so that all the gravies and all the masalas goes away from it and with that I will make like a kati roll type of thing or yeh khane mein bohat tasty lagta hai and now I have to mix everything together it won't take much time but if you want you can do this thing in the blender also but aise karne se zyada achcha hota hai so yeah everything is done and now in that I will add some chopped onion some green chili um, some cap uh, what is this yeah I think so some bell pepper and some cilantro or agar up if you want you can add some more things I have given some red chili powder then some garam masala powder 
some salt and then I will mix everything together and now I am adding some besan to it so that this will create the binding effect and everything will bind out together and then again you have to mix it if you want you can add more chilies or you can add some chaat masala according to your taste and now I have making the roll out of it and to it and then again with the breadcrumb I am coating it nicely taki sabhi jagah breadcrumb se bhar jaye aur ye totally ek seal ki tarah ho jaye and because of besan when you give it in oil it won't come out and see after taking out from oil it looks like this my kati roll is ready aur ye bahut hi ek acha idea hai to give your kids for lunch box or you can just have it like this as a snacks or you can give your husband also in their lunch box and this is how it looks now in a roti or paratha whatever you can make in that i will put the roll which i have made and then i will give some onions tomatoes capsicums whatever vegetables you want to give if you want you can give some lettuce also and then you can give some hari chutney and like this you can give in your kids tiffin box or you can have it as a snacks or you can give it in your husband's lunch box also ye bahut acha lagta hai trust me wo log they nobody will believe me that it's made from leftover vegetables So yeah the next thing i have the chicken or chicken bhi i have done the same thing i have washed off everything so that all the gravy is go away from the chicken and then in the chicken i will be adding some onions some dhania patta that is some cilantro some cheese some green chilies and some red bell pepper or capsicum if you don't have red you can use anything and i'm mixing everything together and then i have added some black pepper to it and i have already added some salt and then mixing everything nicely with my hands then here is the bread and i will spread it nicely all over the bread aur ye bhi khane mein bahut tasty lagta hai leftover chicken se like this is the best thing which you can make then i will give a cheese on top of it yeah so this is a good way in which you can give it in your kids lunch box or to in your hubby's lunch box and ye khane mein bhi bahut tasty hota hai or if your guest comes you can serve them so yeah little bit of sauce and your chicken sandwich is ready from the leftover chicken So yeah everyone this was some of the recipes which I have tried to create from the leftover dishes so if you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share with your friends and family that's it everyone bye